Hi Capricorn, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from February 22nd through the 28th. It's Rena here and I am going old school using my Rider Waite deck, pictures illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith, and uh, picking an additional card from the Energy Oracle deck by uh, Sandra Ann Taylor. Hmm, I got that card in the same position for another sign. Okay. So, looking at the heart of the matter, you know, this is a card that I associate with you. I'll tell you why. Well, first of all, pentacles connect to all earth signs. The other earth signs are Taurus and Virgo. And in addition to that, uh, you ruled the 10th house. And I'm sure that there is some connection. I, I haven't really, I don't think I've looked it up for this particular card, uh, what it means. <clears throat> but, you know, there is a correlation between the astro, you know, numerology and astrology and the tarot. So the chances are that this may have some connection to Capricorn. But, um, this is a card of affluence. This is the inheritance card. So if there's if there was something that um, you were waiting on regarding an inheritance, then it's either on your mind or it's um, you're involved with it in some way. <clears throat> in the past position, and it can't. And of course, it could be somebody who is of the earth element who you're kind of preoccupied thinking about. In the past position, we have the Three of Swords. Um, you know, the other thing, too, is that the Ten of Pentacles Capricorn can be family assistance or family business. So if you were uh, rejected, if you thought you were going to get a certain job and it didn't go through, or if you were fired, or there's some reason why you feel like rejected and dejected as a result of some decision that was made um, about you professionally or in your personal life. You seem to have a backup plan. Uh, family steps in if you, you know, need to take care of children, for instance, or even just take care of yourself. So if, like, for instance, um, if you're counting on a certain job and you feel the sense of disappointment regarding it, um, you may have a family member who's, who has said to you that you can work for them if you have to. And you may not really want to, but you have a, it's like, um, I, was, I said a backup plan, but it's like, what's that other term? You just have some kind of a safety net. And you may even get financial help from your family. But again, this could be an inheritance issue. And in the near future, we have the nine, <laughs> the nine of Hermit. When I see the number nine and I'm just like kind of going on automatic, I'll, with a major arcana card, sometimes I, I say that. But the Hermit card um, is actually connected to Virgo. So uh, that may be someone who you're dealing with who's a fellow air, uh, Earth sign. But in terms of how this may be affecting you, you may have felt that someone let you down. And it's making you more philosophical about your own goals in life. You know, Capricorns are very, very ambitious. And they also tend to be the type who are very... Um, 
interested in accumulating wealth. And the, the Ten of Pentacles can be about accumulating wealth. Um, <laughs> something just uh, popped into my mind when I was thinking about this. Uh, it's possible that this is like the spoils of a divorce and, and what that entails. So it's possible that the Three of the three of swords was some sort of heartbreak in your life with a with a marriage that didn't work out and now it's the payday and maybe you have felt like the other person is trying to take too much of your personal wealth and that can that can be for certain capricorns who are not really um paying attention to what is important in life, you can get sucked into one of those types of dramas, like the War of the Roses, you know? And I'm not saying that all Capricorns would be like this at all. Actually, whenever I see that kind of thing or that attitude, I think a lot of that is a substitute for really wanting love. And people who feel like they don't deserve love or they for some reason can't attract it they can get like so obsessed about their finances and their possessions that they become very covetous because they don't want to also lose that as well because they're like well first I can't get love and now you're telling me that I have to lose my possessions as well so they're trying to hold on to something but, of course, most of the time it leads to further drama and therefore unhappiness. So I think with the Hermit, you're kind of doing some soul searching about the situation, whatever it is. What crosses you is the King of Swords. Now, this can be somebody in the legal profession, like a judge, who has to make a decision. So uh, you may feel like a decision is um, that a judge uh, has ruled against you in a way or, or there's something that they're asking of you that you feel is unfair, that you're not being treated correctly. Um, the other thing too is there's always the possibility that this is an aspect of you that you have to watch from becoming bitter. The King of Swords in reverse can be somebody who is very cold, you know, they're out of touch with their feelings totally, and they may be callous, they may be using their words like a weapon to really uh, get inside somebody's head to manipulate them and lower their self-esteem to control them. Now, this may not be you, this may be the person that you have left, um, or this could be a boss who is from hell. And, um, and, and actually this person may be that person because they're both swords and they may be, uh, creating a lot of problems for you. So for instance, um, the 10 of pentacles may be a situation where you have escaped a workplace, um, abuse kind of a thing and you just um, asked your family to help you or you said I, I'd work at your business because you wanted to escape this type of a person and they are not letting you go to so easily they may be um, trying to figure out a way to um, say that you didn't honor your contract or you know how it is they're playing games that way um, and if you still are with a company where you have a boss who is uh, abusive, the Ten of Pentacles may be you trying to line up a job with a family member or you're just um, asking for money from your family. The advice is the Moon card, and it's about... Um, Looking at ways in, w in which you lie to yourself and you don't uh, see things as they really are. Because if this is a personal relationship, you may feel 
like the Three of Swords, that you were the one that was scorned, that you were rejected. And yet, if you backtrack a little bit and you think of the beginning of the relationship and how the person acted, you may in fact find out or realize, oh yeah, you know, they. it's not that they changed, they were always this way. It's that they got worse. You know, they tried to hide it better before we got married. Something like that. Because um, the Three of Swords is a very disempowering feeling. It's a feeling that you're rejected by somebody. Now, it doesn't have to be a personal relationship. It can be in, you know, if you feel like you, you know, one possibility is you got passed over for a promotion that you feel you deserved. And you may have a boss who is prejudiced against you for some reason, just doesn't like you, uh, prefers somebody else who you feel isn't as qualified. And, you know, that can happen all the time. But the thing is that if you continue with this feeling that the Three of Swords represents, it lowers your vibration so that it's harder for you to attract that which you want because you feel like the poor victim. And sometimes, maybe not 100% of the time, but a lot of times people show you who they are. And you're the one. And I should say we all can be. We all have the potential for being the person who doesn't see things as they really are. The outcome is the lover's card, which is a card of perhaps choice that needs to be made about something, whether you um, stay with this jerk or you move on, or whether you um, accept the terms of a divorce or you keep fighting. Those are possibilities. Only you can determine what is right for you, but you have to decide... Um, at what price peace you know what is there any price that you will um, forego peace okay so I'm going to pick a card from the energy oracle as kind of a clarification card I guess you would call it because that's how it's been working out for me 47, The Thinking Woman. Let's see what it says. This card shows a woman holding a book standing before a staircase ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or like the thinking man, the card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so... Find your voice and let your wisdom shine. And the affirmation is, I open my mind and heart to my own inner wisdom. I am thoughtful, focused, and clear. So anyway, Capricorn, I hope that um, this was of some used to you in some way and um, if you'd like a private reading I have different types um, check me out at rainamoonastrology.com the link is below have a wonderful end of February take care bye